What's up, gang? Um, so I got a collective reading for you guys today. This is a message um, the guys have been telling me to, to post on here for somebody. Um, and today's the day. I was going to do it yesterday, but please remember this won't resonate for everyone. So there was a spread I pulled, and in that spread it was showing me that um, this message is for somebody who who recently was dealing with someone that was like a player um, and you walked away from this person and basically I'm seeing that they're gonna try to contact you well this is what I was seeing in the cards right they're gonna try and contact you again soon and I'm just sitting here and I'm sticking this on your way to beautiful girl it's why it'll never work. You have me suicidal, suicidal. When they say it's over, damn all these beautiful girls. They only want to do your dirt. They'll have you suicidal, suicidal. When they say it's over. So yeah, I think that's how this person's feeling about whoever this message is for. <laughs> that's what I'm getting. Um, like, it's some kind of effect that you had on this person that I guess not a lot of people have on them. It's something different about you, boo. There's something different about you. And yeah, this person, I feel like they're playing... They're playing, playing it cool, or they're playing it hard to get, or they were doing something like that, right? I'm just gathering that either you found out something like this person was talking to other people, or you heard that this person was a player. Um, you know, take player how it resonates, but like doing something sneaky, right, behind your back. And there was just other people involved. That's what I'm getting. Other people involved, sneaky links. All that, all that jazz. Oh, and I can, I feel like whoever this person is, they do have um, very, I'm, I feel like I'm picking up on a masculine though. Like this reading is for someone who could, who's a feminine, but it's like there was a masculine that you met. And I can sense that this masculine has, it could be, I feel like it could be two, two people or one person. For some of you, it might be three people, but I can sense very parasitic um, females around this masculine, okay? <clears throat> very, very parasitic, okay? And yeah, there's the four of swords. So yeah, it's like, you guys, you put it to rest. You found something out and you put it to rest. Okay, and I feel like... <laughs> like um, Maybe for some of you, yeah, it's like ignoring this person is giving you a sense of peace right now. Like rejecting this person is, it was like the best option for you, right? You know, to protect your peace of mind. Um, also getting some of you could like fairies, if this is your message. Okay, but this is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad because whoever's guys wanted me to do this message, they they pretty serious about it because it's coming out pretty much the same way. Um, because I packed the cards up the other day because I got busy, but yeah, this person wants to rush back in, right? And I'm telling you, it's because there's something really beautiful about you. There's you shine really bright. Okay, you make this per you made this person feel happy. Um, I'm getting you made them feel something that they haven't felt in a long time. Okay, it's something to do with. You made them feel brand new in some way. This is what your energy did to this person. It could have given them a big boost to their ego as well. Um, but I'm seeing like this person is about to come back chasing you because, and they're going to tell you, oh, you're the only one to make me happy. <laughs> right? They're attracted to you. For some of you, you may have this, um, I'm hearing aesthetic. Okay, it could be something about the way that you look. Um, but it's mostly this, the feeling that you gave this person. Okay, and yeah, you may also have a child um, that this person could have fallen in love with. Um, so take what resonates, but it would be your child, okay? And for others, I'm just getting like something about this person, like they they was feeling like a million bucks or something when they when you were in their energy when you were like falling for. Like their game, basically. <clears throat> but 
Like this person definitely ran up on you and <clears throat> they know that they messed something up big time, okay? And look at this, in the back of their mind, they know that they caused this tower moment. Like I feel a little bit of nervousness right there. They're anxious, but like I'm telling you, there's, oh, they're anxious. Like there's, there's something like compelling this person. Wow. There's something compelling this person or is about to compel this person to come to you. This may be very suddenly, very out of the blue. They're going to message you, call you. Okay, because like in the back of their head, they're like, oh my God, I messed this up. I messed this up. I messed this up. Like this could have been the one. Like what? Like this could have been the one. <laughs> and it's like, it's just so funny because... I was I just made a short to this song and I heard it this morning. It's like, do I look like I give a fuck? <laughs> do, I, do I look like I give a fuck? I don't give a shot, dog. It's like, whoever you are, you're not even interested. You may not even be like thinking about this person. It's just like you dust your hands off. You're like, yeah, whatever. You know, you got peace of mind. You can sleep good at night. Ain't nothing weighing on your consciousness, right? And then, yeah, this person, I don't know, like, there could be something also that's going on in their life where um, I feel like something could have happened with a, a male in their life recently, but it's just like some sort of dramatic event happened. They may have, there may be a breakup, some kind of exposure, like heavy, heavy, <laughs> heavy on the exposure with this person. Um, you know, they may have exposed themselves um, or you could have caught them out in a lie, or your intuition could have revealed to you that this person was, you know, running game or being dishonest or, you know, entertaining multiple people without letting the uh, letting people know what the fuck was going on, right? It's a lack of transparency, if you ask me, but yeah, this person, like, something's either, they're going through a breakup or a separation, and they could be about to rush back in, right? They've lost it. <laughs> they've lost it. They've lost a pawn. Oh, my gosh. And then I just heard it again. Do I look like I give a fuck? Look, it's like you do not care. You could be in your queen of swords energy when it comes to this situation. Like your heart is very, very guarded when it comes to this person. Um, if anything, you may, if this person approaches you, they're probably just going to get attitude from you. <laughs> like, like straight up attitude. Like this is the, this is the, this is the B, you know, the B of the tarot and if she want to be, this can be somebody who's, you can be someone who's really, really sweet, but when you need to put your guard up and say your piece or whatever, you're going to say that. You're going to set your boundaries, you know. <clears throat> um, and I do feel like whoever I'm reading for, you're looking for a long-term relationship, okay? That's what's in the back of your mind. So it's just like really, really simple, you know? It's like one plus one equals two equals no me and you right <laughs> i don't know but it ain't it ain't you and them right and um yeah i see that you you may have come from a very stable family some of you or you're just very family oriented like you love the idea of having a family or some of you may have a child already um but yeah it's like you're looking for someone who can you know be a part of your family um yeah, you're looking for someone who's going to match your energy. Look at this. You're looking for that soulmate energy. And this person, whoever they is, they in King Knight of Swords energy. So they're a little bit immature. Let me see what else energy this person's in. A little bit immature. But for some of you, they could be very confident. You know, the Riz be real. <laughs> the Riz be real with this motherfucker. And I'm seeing for some of you, this person could be in the public eye. Um, they don't have to be. But they, they may be very successful or well known by their community um yeah like a lot of people may know this person for something that they do um i guess they're looked up to by a lot of people but yeah like oh my gosh this person they're very um they're very greedy as well okay and very possessive so i guess like the general public doesn't know this about this person or you know, people that know them for whatever they do may not know this side of them. So, yeah, I'm getting like this person has not let go of your energy, um, even though you have you are ignoring them. So say they messaged you or they tried to call you. 
It's weird because I feel like so nervous. Like this person is so nervous. Like you make them nervous. And I think that's what they like about you. Um, you know, you kind of intimidate this person in a way, but you also have this beautiful, like youthful, vibrant energy to you that I just feel like it's unforgettable. There's something unforgettable about you and you glow. Like when this person thinks about you, they think about you glowing, like your aura glows and, and all of that. And they just, they, they're very attached to your energy still. I'm, and I'm hearing you over here, do I look like I give a fuck? <laughs> do, I look, do I look like I give a fuck? I don't think so. I don't give a shot, dog. Right? It's like you've made your decision. You've made your judgment call. You you have you have come to the realization that this this person that played you, whatever. They, um, they are not compatible with you, right? They couldn't match you on an intellectual maturity level for certain. Um, you know, like whoever this reading is for, it's, it may not be necessarily that you're looking for something that's like, you know, all lovey, gooey, ooey, gooey, gooey. Like, you know what I mean? You, like the idea of love for whoever this is for, it may, it may be a bit like mm, for you. But, you know, I think it's very important for you that you have a very strong intellectual and mental connection with the person you're with and that you guys have great communication together and that's why I feel like you chose to walk away from this person or just ignore this person. So I'm hearing block some of you may have blocked this person. <laughs> okay. But they obsess. They they heartbroken gang and they obsess. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry for laughing, but it's kind of funny because this message has been trying to come through for a, for a day or so. <laughs> Yeah, this person still got feelings for you, but it's kind of like, you know what you remind this person of, like, their first high school crush, or, I don't know, maybe some of you in high school, like, it's like you remind them of their first crush, like, their first love. These are the feelings you invoke in them that they can't, um, that they're having a hard time, you know, forgetting and getting over, and it doesn't even matter how long it's been since you saw this person, they are going to come in with some kind of offer some kind of apology <laughs> let's see if we get some time in on a chat because this is wild i mean does it look like i give a fuck <laughs> i cannot i cannot you know and i'm getting when when this person came into your life in the past you you were very genuine with them you know it's like you, you put your heart on your sleeve with this person. You were, you were honest. You were authentic. Like you really could have been willing to give this person your heart. And, you know, there may have been times where you sort of felt like hiding your emotions a little bit from this person because you were looking for something deeper that they weren't able to provide you with. Like you may have noticed this person was very afraid of... Um, or they'd shy away from like um, vulnerability, like emotional vulnerability, emotional nudeness, nudity. <laughs> no, this ain't nudity, you too, but um, yeah, this is what it is. And somebody could definitely be in the public eye in this situation. Let me know if that resonates. But this person's got, oh my gosh, like, you know, they got this whole speech. <laughs> they got this whole speech. Like, this person could be writing stuff, like, letters and stuff to you that they never send you. Like, rehearsing in a mirror what they want to say to you. Talking to their friends about what they want to say to you. You know, but for some of you, I'm picking up you're dealing with someone quite secretive or very low down. You know, they don't really talk to too many people. They could be very... um you know, like very independent, uh, but they, they talk to like different women, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, I'm getting, this person is gonna wanna come into you, express all these, like they had emotions for you, okay? But these emotions that they had for you, it's like they were, it's like, it's like a teenager kind of love, you know? And I guess they were having a hard time understanding their feelings and stuff. 
and they're going to want to come back in and <clears throat> express to you all the feelings that they didn't, you know, tell you about previously. And they may come in with a very um, playful kind of energy, but they'll want to revisit whatever happened in the past because they know, like this person knows they messed this up. They know they caused this tower moment. They know that their actions had consequences, right? Only sorry you got caught. I don't know why that's coming in my head, but yeah, for some of you, like this person could only be sorry because they got caught. <laughs> but yeah, they got this. They got this stuff. This these words that they really need to get off their chest. Okay, and and it's a big deal for this person. All right, but it's just like like I'm just seeing you. Some of you could have that RBF like resting B face, and it's just like this person. Say he's on Facetime, right? And you're just looking at them like, like with the most blankest look, like, <laughs> or if they tried to talk to you, it's, that's how not interested you are in this person, but yeah, for whoever this is for, just, you may not realize, but you may be sensing this person thinking about you, um, you may be picking up on their energy, and, um, yeah, it's because this person is missing you. Like whatever memories you have with this, with them, they're missing that. They're missing your energy, and they wanna they wanna recreate the feeling that they had with you in the start. But it's easy how shaky my voice is. <laughs> like, like this person is so anxious, and um, your confidence is alluring to this person because they could come across as someone very confident, very charismatic at times. <clears throat> but I do feel that like deep down this person suffers from deep insecurity right <laughs> because and it's pretty evident you know in their behavior from probably what you've gathered as well you know having to have so many people um, that they're talking to or entertaining romantically you know like it just goes to show how how insecure they are and yeah it's like when you were in their life they felt like everything was going really good like they were getting signs from the universe like synchronicities were happening happening for them um they may have tried to you know i mean in like good behavior they may have tried to be on good behavior with you but i don't know it's kind of like the tiger don't change his stripes right and the tiger can't change his stripes it's kind of like that. So this person knows that they lost an opportunity with you for for long-term partnership. And for some of you, they lost access to your child, which is kind of a big deal for them as well. Um, but yeah, this person is kind of emotionally stunted. I feel like they've got <clears throat> a lot of learning to do. <laughs> but you know, they on their path and you definitely are teaching this person something about, you know, Losing a good person, losing a good opportunity, losing a valuable woman. You know what I mean? That's what you do it. So yeah, so this person is very, very curious about you. <clears throat> and um So say some of you block this person, okay? I'm just getting like this person, they'll find a way to contact you. <laughs> like like that's what I'm getting, they will find a way to contact you after this breakup, this separation, because this loss is doing damage to them, right? It is. It's doing damage. Look at this, the diamond in reverse and the rings. It's like, you know, for some of you, this person could have actually, like, this could be why they tried to play you as well, is because they actually felt like you, you know, you could have been their, their wife, or like you were their soulmate or something like that. Like, you could have had a... A very strong telepathic connection with this person but it's like they they fumbled their own divine union they fumbled their own blessing they fumbled a committed partner like you are someone who is looking for a commitment and deep down that is what this person wants but deep down they're very very afraid of that right this person could have mummy issues i'm telling you it ain't it ain't looking good <laughs> like you know um there's this saying, like, there's some boys where it's like a pyramid, 
right? And their mother is at the top of the pyramid and they treat their mother the best. So you may, maybe some of you know this about this person. I don't know, they're just telling me to say this, but they treat their mother the best. And then like all the other women down the bottom on the hierarchy <laughs> are like, you know, servants and, you know, they have their duties and whatever. And that's how they look at women, right? But it's a very unconscious thing that goes on in some men's minds. Not all men, but there, there are some beautiful men out in this world. That is for certain. But yeah, it's like you had the capacity to, to break down this person's guard right? You caused them to be vulnerable and they're not used to being vulnerable. And you, you created a space and environment for that person to feel vulnerable with you. And you may have seen this person cry or go through something really hard with you. Um, you could have been there for them, right? But the thing is, you, di you didn't really need to be there. It's like you chose to be there for this person or you, you chose to believe whatever they were telling you. You know, you're very smart. Whoever this is for, you're very intelligent. Your mind is very analytical, you know, you, do, you wouldn't miss little things, right? You pay attention to little things. You're very, very sensitive to energy, um, especially like you pay attention to the things people say. And yeah, you know, it's like you, you cause this person to drop their guard, especially if they're whoever this person is, is a cancer, like you did. And it's just like through your natural intuition, right? The Queen of Swords is very intuitive as well. And so you have actually given this person a whole new perspective on, on a lot of things, okay? But especially their life, their love life. And it's, and it's made you irresistible to them. So if this person is at a distance from you, they could be traveling towards you. <clears throat> All right. And this is happening within a few weeks. So whoever this message is for, this is why it felt like I had to do this reading. Like within a few weeks, this person is about to either pull up, right, or start contacting you. They're going to find a way to contact you, even if you block this person, like, and they're going to look at this. The romance and the roses just come out. Okay. They, they're going to want to talk to you about whatever happened. Okay, because they're yearning for you. They're still attached to the idea of being with you. And meanwhile, you guys has just moved on. You know, you guys are just enjoying your peace. Yeah, you you have literally made your decision when it comes to this situation. Right, like you, <laughs> you are not even interested in this person. Does it look like gang give a fuck? <gasps> Does it look like they give a fuck? <laughs> nah. And this is also protection from your spirit team, right? Like your guides could be telling you, your higher self could be telling you, like, do not entertain this person. Um, but I guess this is just a heads up for some of you because, you know, for some of you, this person, I'm going to say it may be like a, a kryptonite type of situation where you could fold for this person. But for whoever this message is for, most of you, I'm going to say that you are not going to be like, giving this person an inch, right? So they, they can take a ruler. <laughs> um, yeah, and they're gonna wanna do something romantic for you. They may even show up with flowers or like pick flowers for you or, you know, like, uh, to be honest with you, Chad, this person's infatuated with you and they kinda lonely because it's like when they messed you over, when they, when they played with you, it, like, it, it screwed up all their other options and they had to deal with all this parasitic energy, all this toxic energy from these other people, a male figure in their life and like multiple female figures in their life is what I can sense. And these people were like energy vampires and drained, but yeah, for some of you, this person is, this person is closing off some kind of um, cycles there and they're thinking, well, if I get rid of all these options, you know, I can come towards you, but they're, they're doing like a victory lap, like a final lap right now, and then they come in, they're coming towards you. <laughs> like I'm telling you, child. And they're coming, they're coming with gifts, they're coming bearing fruit, you know? I don't know. It's something like that. I'm seeing somebody like sleeking their hair and plumping up their lips, like come home. All to express their truth to you, okay? Like, this person actually feels like they have an obligation, okay? So you may be someone who's very spiritual as well. Um, but there's an angel around you that is very... Um, 
what is that? Well, I don't know the word. But there is an angel around your aura in your energy field, okay? And and this person can like sense it. It's like there's some kind of spiritual authority around you and they feel like they have to do this as well, right? For some of you, it's just like they just think you're the best thing they've had in such a long time that they feel like expressing their truth is going to change the situation. But they've already shown you they face, right? They already shown you they, hey, bleh. they already showed you what they all about. So if, if you do end up going back with this person, this is the message, right? It'll just go in a circle again. They'll do the same thing. Okay. So spirit saying to just keep it moving. If any of you like you resonating with this, you're seeing this and you're, you're thinking that, um, you know, it might be good to do another round with this motherfucker. It's the ancestors here, right here. This is divine protection, right? To confirm for whoever this message is for that, you know, this person will create a, a block for you, a temporary loss of power. <clears throat> I can feel it, right? They will like dim your light in some way. So self-respect first, ladies. That's right. Self-respect first, okay? Keep it moving, keep it pushing right some of you got something new coming in let's see what's coming in new for you if this is your message is there anything else this oh some kind of wish fulfillment is about to come in with the ace of swords on the bottom right this is clarity this is wish fulfillment what is this wish fulfillment about <clears throat> um something very quick is coming in for you guys wow what is this about oh baby right so look some of you could be about to have some kind of success in business. Or some of you could have a, a king of pentacles, an earth sign coming towards you. All right. This is also someone that is. This is someone that is very abundant. Right. Unlike this, I feel like this other player person you were dealing with. Like they was like fake abundant. You know, like, of course, we all abundant. But I don't know, something about this person from the from the past, they. And it's kind of like they was putting on a show, you know what I mean? But some of you are attracting in a person that is going to want to get to know you and um, is, is actually very abundant and is looking for a commitment as well, right? They may even be looking for marriage or, you know, to settle down in a family. They're very financially stable, financially secure. It feels like you've got someone coming in very quickly or very soon. Let's see if we can get a timing on that. Yeah, you do. And you and you got a date coming up, child. This is what's going on. Okay, can we get any timing on this? Okay, so I'm getting... Okay, so there is a reason why. So Spirit's saying the reason for this message is because if you entertain this person from the past, when they come back around, um, it may delay this new soulmate coming in. So it's going to be soon, okay? And it's time for you to receive this new soulmate, okay? So yeah, just, just be prepared, you know, just, just ignore them, do what you've been doing, right? They, like, don't entertain this person from the past because someone new is coming in, Okay? And this person from the past, they could create like a third party situation if, if you just let them into your energy. So Spirit's saying, um, you know, keep, keep staying in your independent era right now. If some of you are dating, you're about to meet somebody that you really, really click with, that really wants to settle down with you and all of that, okay? And you won't be feeling indecisive if you are dating and you're like, oh, who do I pick? Um... Yeah, it's about to be very clear because there's someone someone coming in for this collective. Communication is about to pick up for some of you with someone you may have already met as well. So yeah, they're going to be wanting that higher commitment. I'm telling you that. I'm telling you, this person is after marriage. They're after long term. They're like, you know, move in. Like, bring the kid. <laughs> you know, like, all of that. All of that. So, yes. Remember, you know, don't forget how this, this player person treated you. Um, cause yeah, it's just beautiful. So yeah, let me know if this resonated. Try, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.